Hey guys, welcome to the Fight H channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. Robert Garcia on the situation with Anthony Joshua. I never indulge my boxers. Robert Garcia expressed regret that his former word Anthony Joshua perceived his criticism as disrespectful. After the fight, Garcia voiced several comments in which he openly criticized Joshua. Among other things, Garcia suggested that Joshua suffered a moral defeat in the 10th round. It seems Joshua never forgave Garcia for these remarks, as he later decided to switch to veteran trainer Derek James to prepare for his comeback fight with Jermaine Franklin early this month. Joshua eventually beat Franklin in London. Before the fight with Franklin, Joshua said that, in his opinion, his former coach crossed the line in some of his comments. Garcia himself, in a recent interview, supported his initial statements and justified his frankness by striving to improve his fighters. I hate that he feels this way. If he wants to get a truthful answer, I think the coach should tell him that, Garcia said in an interview. He can only surround him. But you know what? It's okay when the coach tells you the truth. And if the coach tell is a lie, then he is not a real coach. If there is no one around you, then you are nobody yourself. As a coach, I have to say what I see and be honest. When a fighter says to me, Oh, I didn't like your comment. What do you want from me? I could say yes and just take my money and we don't care about anything. There are such coaches, but I am not of them, Garcia added. After the fight, he completely lost control of himself, Garcia said. The way he behaved, it was wrong. And I am not the only one saying that. Everyone was talking about it. I criticized my boxers to make them better. But he took it personally, as if I was talking nonsense. No, I tried to motivate him, tried not to let it happen. I hope I taught him a lesson. Nevertheless, Garcia is pleased that Joshua decided to follow his advice and move his training camp to America. Garcia believes Joshua's partnership with the new coach Derek James will pay off in the long run. James is best known for his work with unified welterweight champion Errol Spence Jr. and undisputed first middleweight champion Jermail Charlo. Derek James is currently the best coach in the world, coach of the year. He has guys like Charlo when he's an absolute champion. There is Errol Spence, who can become an absolute in the next couple of months if Crawford wins. Hell, everyone wants to be with this coach because he's the best and the moment. He is in good hands, in a great situation. I know he will train him well, he is doing what I told him to do. He came to the United States and regularly fights. This is the best thing that can be done for him. Maybe not with me, but he did it, Garcia added. A fight against former World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua is the most desirable option for another former champion, American Dante Wilder. This was stated in an interview with IVL TV by Dante's coach Malik Scott. On April 1st, Joshua returned with a points victory over Jermaine Franklin, after which he unexpectedly announced that he would not return to the ring until December. I really, really appreciate Dante's possible fight with Anthony Joshua. I think it's a good not only for boxing, this is good for many reasons. It's a pleasure for society. I'm sure that Dante's fight with Joshua, such a fight will benefit all mankind. The coach accelerates in his assessments, and it will be a real tragedy if it doesn't take place. I always call this fight when someone asks me what's next on Dante's shadow. We will see. Dante wants to fight. I want to fight. Our world side wants it. We want to see what Joshua will do next. The ball is on his side. We are ready. Malik Scott, the trainer of former World Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder, believes that his boxer will strangle Anthony Joshua in three rounds. I believe Wilder will knock Joshua out. Anthony doesn't defend as thoroughly and his legs don't work as well. And he also doesn't have such good reflexes. He is not cunning. In AJ and Dante's fight, 
I see three rounds, and I've been talking about it for a long time. I don't care how people perceive my opinion about these fights. I'm not saying Wilder will knock Joshua out because he is a bad fighter. I do calculations when I compare their styles. I don't even foresee that Joshua will have good moments, Scott said. Promoter Eddie Hearn told with one boxer Andre Joshua can hold his next fight. Dylan White at the violin. Joe Joyce is also a big fight. It seems to me that Anthony Joshua needs to be in the best shape if he is going to fight Tyson Fury and then the Wilder again. And this already seems unavoidable. Right now he is not at the optimal level. Of preparation for such a fight. Famous boxing trainer Teddy Atlas believed that Britain and Ray Joshua may be interested in a fight against Joe Joyce, who lost to Chinese Zhang Jili the day before. Perhaps such a performance by Joyce will tempt Joshua to fight with him, and if it takes place, no one will predict what will happen when Joe Joyce touches Joshua's porcelain chin with her right hand, which may break. Atlas wrote on social networks. Recall that on the night of April 16th, Joyce lost by technical knockout in the sixth round to Zhang Zhili. Thus, the Chinese boxer won the temporary title of WBO champion. On the night of April 2nd, in London, Anthony Joshua had a fight against Jermaine Franklin. This confrontation lasted the entire distance and ended in favor of Anthony by unanimous decision of the judges. The head of the matchroom boxing promotion company Eddie Hearn doesn't see at all that the Chinese big man Zhang Jili, who upset the prison Joe Joyce last weekend, beat the top three fighters. Former world champion Dante Wilder, Anthony Joshua and Kyrian WBC champion Tyson Fury. The promoter believes will destroy Zhang Jili. Eddie Hearn argued the boxing community to calm down and not to mold a new idol for themselves. Now it looks like Zhang Jili is the new driving force of heavyweight boxing. I mean, he is a good fighter and a healthy boar. But Wilder will destroy him, Tyson Fury will destroy him, and AJ will destroy him too. The promoter or the ledger is convinced that. The functionary doesn't understand those who say that Julie is fast. He is not fast. Let him enter the ring against Anthony Joshua, Wilder or even Fury, you will see what is fast. Eddie said. On the night of April 16 in London, the Chinese sensationally stopped Joe Joyce due to injury in the sixth round. He on the list that if he is not able to beat Drilly, there is no chance of a title. I haven't fought a lefty for a long time. Joyce explained at his sensational defeat by Geely. British boxer, former interim WBO world champion Joe Joyce, commented on the first defeat in his professional career. Joyce lost a hair of shadow to Chinese Zhang Geely in the sixth round. I'm disappointed with my performance. He kept hitting me with his left, and I couldn't get away from the line of impact. I have only respect for Zhang Drilly. It was a good fight, but I think I could have performed better. I haven't fought a lefty in a long time. He's a good fighter, but also I gave my best and I expected to win. I would like to apologize to all the fans. I will be back and my path is not yet complete, Joyce said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.